Can spouse work in the United States of America while married to your U.S. citizen spouse? The answer is yes. But what are the forms that you have to submit in order for you to work legally here in the U.S.? In this video, we are going to talk about that. So let's dive in and let the journey begin. <music> Good day, my name is Emery. Welcome to Powerful Couple Journey, where we talk about immigration, do-it-yourself process, and life here in the U.S. For today's video, we are going to focus on how can your spouse work legally here in the U.S. while married to a U.S. citizen. Based on my own experience, I used to be a J-1 teacher with 212E rule here in the U.S., now a green card holder thanks to submitting an exceptional hardship through my U.S. citizen spouse. How was I able to continue working while processing my papers? First, I am in status with my J-1 visa through my visa sponsor. While doing that, I also submitted the Form I-130 right after we got married, that is the petition for alien relative. Then I submitted the waiver, which is the Form I-612. It has nothing to do with your Form I-130, but it is important if you are a J-1 teacher like me who has a 212E rule to your home residency requirement that is posted in your visa stamp and DS 2019. While we wanted to work legally here in the U.S., we also wanted to be staying on status. So, I had a double idea, which means I'm going to have on status with my visa sponsor through J-1 visa, and I will also submit my Form I-485 Adjustment of Status together with my Form I-765 the work permit and that's how I was legally able to work in the U.S. right after transitioning from my teaching job as a J-1 teacher to navigating to other work. Now here in the U.S. it is very important to stay legal. Then papers will be on the process. The USCIS know that while you are still on the process with your adjustment of status and the petition, we need to work. That's why they granted the Form I-765 work permit for those that have the legal pathways to do their green card. Thus, in my case, I have my Form I-765 approved. First, I got my biometrics here in Central Florida then they issued me the card while my petition is still pending my adjustment of status is still pending at least i have my work permit which is through the form i-765 then all those years had gone it's like a matter of two years i was able to have my waiver with the 212e rule since from the philippines you really have the stamp especially if your visa speaks about teaching the moment i have my work permit and i was already in my fourth year as a j1 teacher i also received my form i-130 and that is so important to us because it only shows that the USCIS is really working with my papers. At the same time, I am working with my waiver with the Form I-612 and then they had showed that my case is on hold. But then they are asking for the DS-3035 that is needed for the Department of State to give me a favorable recommendation before the USCIS can say that my Form I-612 waiver is approved. It's very complicated in our case as a J-1 teacher with 212E rule, but if you came here in the U.S. as a K-1 visa or an F-1 visa, that is easier 
because you don't have a lot of restrictions compared to us J-1 visa non-immigrant holders. With this one, I just did it all DIY. It works for us. But the agony of waiting is really there and you cannot deny the fact that whenever you see the processing times will take a year or six months, it's like killing you inside. But what makes us sane while we are processing our papers is this. We know that we have a very strong compelling evidences that is attached to our Form I-612, DS-3035, our Form I-485, our Form I-130, and all other forms that are connected to those papers that has to be submitted to the USCIS and the Department of State. This is my way of showing to you that we need to stay legal as we are wanting to transition from non-immigrant visa to legal permanent residency here in the US. So those that have their recent work permit, what we have known from the J-1 Waiver Helping Hands group that they have already given five years for the work permit to be imposed while waiting for the decision of your adjustment of status or what we call green card. The USCIS really know what they're doing, but think of this, they are not your friend. They want you to show a lot of evidences that are very compelling and strong enough to win your case. We did this DIY. I am not an immigration lawyer. I am just sharing my ideas based on our own experiences and how we filed our waiver through do-it-yourself process. If you wanted to see how I did it, please visit powerfulcouplejourney.com and you will find the J-1 waiver bundle where I put there from start to finish what are the forms we submitted, what are the links and the videos that way it can guide you from step one to the finish line this is very important because it's going to be at least two years to process your papers a lot of immigration lawyers are saying that you have to be strategic in this the answer is yes very strategic but then think of the risk as well most of my j1 teacher friends that i know of with the J-1 Waiver Helping Hands group, they have their own immigration lawyers because they don't want to have the stress, the depression, and agony of waiting while we're doing the process. I know it's very hard to think of the unknown, but there is really an important task for you to do. Think of this, you are in the process of becoming a legal permanent resident from a non-immigrant visa and that is what you're gonna be upholding and we should be very thankful to our US citizen spouse because of their experiences and their willingness to help you with your waiver you can probably have your waiver in your hands in less than two years this is going to be a crucial stage in order for you to remove those agony of waiting look at the processing time if it's beyond the processing time what you can do is communicate with the uscis using their virtual assistant emma and that is where you can find your questions and they could answer that one for you but if you feel like they are beyond the processing time which we did this you can consult your state congressman that will help you with the process all you need to do is email them it is depending on which state you are in right now you can message them and tell them about your reason why you wanted to reach out and why you wanted to expedite the process especially in your work permit or on your waiver or your adjustment of status or even with your petition so it is really important to reach out because they have a way to look at your case in my part we did this we email them and they reach out to us through calling emails and what a relief if you know 
that your congressman is really working with you. That is what we're doing here in our process. Hopefully, you will do the same. Just don't feel like you are alone in this process, making sure that you want it to work legally in the U.S. And then, if you are watching as a U.S. citizen, your wife or your spouse can really work legally if you just know the step-by-step -step process. The forms that you have to submit are very important, which are Form I-130, Form I-485, Form I-765. If you are a J-1 with 212E rule, then submit your Form I-612, DS-335, and all other forms that are connected to your Form I-130 and your Form I-485. It is crucial at this stage that you already encoded through Word document or pages in your MacBook or in your desktop computer or Windows laptop the evidences that you have, all your compelling statements and reasons, and making sure that you have the marriage certificate, everything that you have in your hands, like psychological evaluation, medical doctors, and I'm speaking when it comes to the J-1 teachers who wanted to submit extreme hardship towards their U.S. citizen spouse to get the foreign waiver. Again, J1 Waiver Helping Hands group through Facebook. Just agree to group rules and I will accept you immediately. Also, visit powerfulcouplejourney.com for the J1 Waiver bundle that could give you the templates on how to do it from start to finish based on our own experience doing it ourselves and we were able to get the waiver through green card and working legally here in the U.S. as a legal permanent resident and soon in three years will have U.S. citizenship. Thank you so much. Please watch my next video. Please like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about all sorts of ideas when it comes to immigration do-it-yourself process. Thank you so much and you have a great day.